light gleams, a fox was walking by a stream. His belly rumbled, oh, what a plight. He saw some grapes, a tasty sight. Oh, the fox, the fox, he jumped so high, reaching for the grapes in the sky. Oh, the fox, the fox, he couldn't succeed, so he said they're sour, no good indeed. He leaped and stretched with all his might, but those grapes were just out of sight. He tried again, but it was clear the juicy grapes were too near. Oh, the fox, the fox, he jumped so high, reaching for the grapes in the sky. Oh, the fox, the fox, he couldn't succeed, so he said they're sour, no good indeed. He leaped and stretched with all his might, but those grapes were just out of sight. He tried again, but it was clear the juicy grapes were too near. Oh, the fox, the fox, he jumped so high, reaching for the grapes in the sky. Oh, the fox, the fox, he couldn't succeed, so he said they're sour, no good indeed. He leaped and stretched with all his might, but those grapes were just out of sight. He tried again, but it was clear the juicy grapes were too near. He leaped and stretched with all his might, but those grapes were just out of sight. He tried again, but it was clear the juicy grapes were too near. So he walked away with his head held high, leaving the grapes hanging in the sky. He told himself they weren't worth the try and continued on with a sigh. Oh, the fox, the fox, he jumped so high, reaching for the grapes in the sky. Oh, the fox, the fox, he couldn't succeed, so he said they're sour, no good indeed. So remember this tale whenever you might want something that's out of sight. It's easy to say it's not meant to be, but sometimes it's just envy.